Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Stellaris, our bromance series. Uh, I'm Mal. I'm once again joined by Savouts, Mickey, and Vanguard. And in between episodes, we actually had to, to re-record this one. Normally, we don't reload, but it seems that this Igmatic Fortress is completely bugged out. We tried to, like, move forward with the quest, but it just kept resetting. It was... It was really messed up, so we, we've decided that since we're going to go to war over here, that we're just going to jump straight there. So you guys ready to go back to war? Yep. War. Uh, let's okay, let's let jump me... over to Doria first. That's where I'm at. You'll see me there. Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to jump straight to Ubila or whatever. I wouldn't jump. to the, I'd wait because it's 120 days. Oh, right. Okay, good call. I see what you're saying. Okay, so initiate jump and jump yeah, there. We'll jump there and then we'll go that ahead and get ready to sense. do the war. Yeah. Let me see if my fleet's yep. going to follow yours. I'm not even sure if I can jump to Doria. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, that was a good call. Thanks. Yeah. The only calls I make. <laughs> right? <laughs> So we're just going to wait until our military power comes back up then, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just found a bug. <laughs> Which is? My fleet jumped following Mal's fleet and it didn't get a hit to the battle power. No. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So oh. I should have had my fleet following yours then. Yeah, so Paradox, if you want to see the bug, just watch my recording from my perspective and you'll get the, a close look to it if you are watching our series. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I never have haven't gotten this bug before, so I don't know why it happened, so... Paradox watching our series. Yeah. A part of me wants to think Some... that they are. <laughs> Some of them do, though. Yeah. We have they proof do. because I've they... I've had them watch it before. Yeah, they, they take our feedback really seriously because a lot of things oh, honestly, they change based on what they you, say. You'd be surprised at how much they watch because... Um, obviously, it can be a different company, but still... Um, Kingdom Come, I made a quick video on how to get good loot early in the game, and they changed like three or four things I mentioned in that video, and I'm like, that's weird, now I'm playing this for real in a proper campaign, all these things I talked about, you can't do them. And it's like, did so many pe other people mention these random things that I've never seen anybody else mention? <laughs> <laughs> no. Huh. Yeah, people, PR yeah, in yeah, general, they changed a lot. A few companies watch what you're doing. Yeah, and it only takes one person in the company or somebody kind of relatively close to the company be like, yeah, I, I saw, you know, somebody mentioned, you know, this game that your your brother's friend's cousin's working on. There's this really big exploit here. Alert. It doesn't yeah. take a lot to get back to them. Yeah. That's the whole point. So that's why I said I hope they were watching. So I know it doesn't right. make sense for them to watch my Portuguese series, but English, why not? All right, I think okay, we're ready. Looks like our our thing worn off, so let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Let me uh, let me uh, boot, 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 boot. nope, that's the wrong guy. That was that's the that's the octopus face guys. I need there we go. I need these guys. Okay, declare war, and click to select. How come I can't uh, manage claims? It says I have no claims, but I already hey, you, made the claims. Are you okay? sure that's that weird? It's not a safe bug or uh, you'll save yeah, it. Sure. Might have been. Okay. Yeah, let me let me do it again then. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab the claims real fine. quick. I'll take that system and we'll take that one. Thank you very much. And yep, you're gonna come with us as well. And you Come with me, aliens. Come with me. <laughs> Poor guys. This guy over here, and then the last one will be this guy. Communication. Yep, that leaves me with over. 23 influence. <laughs> okay. All wow. right, now let's let's see. Declare war. Conquer claim. Manage the claims. Construction complete. Uh, what? I've already got the claims, so I don't need to make any further claims. I just say conquer claim and then declare war, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. okay, if any of you guys need minerals or energy, just send me the trade because I'm pretty much full. Make sure you guys vote yes. 
Oh, sorry. Communications alert. War. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Head it in. Okay, they have a... Uh, wow. Close to 70k fleet. Really? Oh. Yeah, it's on Ishnar. Oh, I see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, looky there. You okay down there, Vanguard? Sure. Don't worry. Stationary asset. I have okay. the Federation fleet with me, so I'm okay. Okay. Is um, but I'm not going to yeah. jump to that battle station. I'm yeah, I was gonna say, to let them back. come to you. Yeah. Let them come to you. Yeah, they might choose to come up to us anyways. The nice thing about attacking from two different directions is we're forcing them to make a decision. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um. Yeah, so, perfect. Yeah, another bug for you, Paradox, if you're watching. <laughs> I just downgraded... About you have control of the Federation fleet now. Yeah, I just downgraded the the fifth stations. And I remove it that thing that increases the amount, maximum amount of platforms you can have. Technology. And now I have 16 out of 15, and it's working. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, they're oh, coming towards me. I think I can handle yeah. them. Don't worry. I mean, if you want to pull back, um, I don't have much, but it's 20k fleet and they'll be with you. Oh. Nope, they turned around. Yeah, if they came oh, to me, nice. there's over 1000k here. Oh, or right, you've got battle stations there. you got two, yeah. in fact. Yeah, I have a yeah. battle station and over 100,000 on fleet with the Federation, so don't worry. If they pull here, Where's they're dead. Where's your fleet, Mickey? Uh, I had to go the long way around. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. there's a bit of a loop in Vanguard's territory. Yeah, his own Vexen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Communications alert. I'm Once we take all this. this whole arm, yeah, and then we can just go back and then jump to them. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go clear up those two top bottom areas. Oh, you're gonna break down there? Okay, good call. Yeah, since they they, they can't get to us up here, so. Right, right. I'll just go pull those real quick, and then yeah, we'll be able to do something else. Mal, with a construction ship um, that has jump drives, you can just jump across and take systems that aren't connected, ignoring Lando, right? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, you can. Yeah. If you have the influence, you can. Acquisition successful. It's just, it's further out, so it costs more. Once I've got these right here, though, the cost won't be that bad, so I'll just take all these around Lando and fill it in the gaps. That's the plan. Hell. Mm, mag engineering or synthetics? Mag engineering. I want to be able to build a hing world <laughs> this time around. Don't think it's going to last that long. Never does. I but don't I remember. Try. I don't remember. Do, on the habitat administration, does it give adjacency bonuses? No. Or no? It does, does no. Not. So it doesn't matter where it's located or what goes around it, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's been a while since I built one. Yeah. Habitats are essential on higher difficult settings. It's the way of you to catch up to the... Kinetic GDI. batteries? Pretty good on Titans, or...? Nah, neutron launchers are, are better if you have the option. Okay. If you don't, kinetic key artilleries are the second best option. Just about done clearing out this arm. How you guys doing? Fine. Good. They're Still holding up the... Yeah. Communications alert. How, Mal, how would you and Spouts push further into their territory? We're gonna jump. Where you are there. Oh, We're dude. going to meet back down in the south, and then and use jump this. drives to jump in. Yep. 
and then we'll jump to like Shadili or whatever. Probably so one more over. Right? <clears throat> Probably over uh, in like Zamoltan or somewhere where we can charge up. So we don't take the penalty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And then go back. Yep. Complete. Yep. See? You're keeping me honest, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm headed down there then now. It's about. Okay, no problem. You want to haul I'll go to haul this. I'll meet you there. So if you have a Titans, do you want to put them in a separate fleet? Are they okay in the same fleet as your regular ships? It doesn't I, matter. What I did doesn't matter. What I did is I put my Titans in with a group of like battleship cruisers and then destroyers, so they'd have point defense. And then I've got a fast reaction force and a separate fleet that's basically all Corvettes. Oh, Titans yeah. are expensive. The only thing you need to yeah, worry titans about, are crazy. yeah, the only thing you need to worry about about is that Titans are as slow as battleships, so you don't want to mix them with Corvettes, destroyers, or cruisers. That's another main reason why cruisers are not that great anymore. You don't want to mix them with destroyers, corvettes, or cruisers? Not, yeah, because not, they are not, slow. Not, not, necessarily, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because destroyers make destroyers make good picket ships, right? So they yeah. can they can destroy incoming missiles and but, they can act as far fodder until your ship's getting in position. But it's easier, Mal, if you build a carrier dedicated battleship, it has way more point defense than a destroyer has. That's true. I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah, and building. you are also let's, guarding your let's, titans let's, against uh, building, it, turning a destroyer into a carrier. No, a battleship into a carrier. No, no, no. A, ba if you a want, battleship into a carrier. If you want the point defense system, just build carriers. It's it's more effective because they can take a punishment, and you are also going to have the the bombers and the fighters as support. So it's a all around better deal. Destroyers and Corvettes are actually destroyers are an early game battleship. You can think that as that way, and cruisers are are supposed to be the late game Corvettes. But in general, on this version of the game, they are very underpowered. Communications alert. Hey, I'm redoing my research agreements with you guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send Mickey some bouts one also. I forgot about those. Yes. And Mr. Canine Butlick. Canine Butlick, the best name. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, for the next series, we need to come up with good names. That, that fit what they look like, the ships as well. I'm not sure you want me to do that. <laughs> Ready to make the jump, Mal? Uh, yeah, one second. I'm doing a deal here. Eh, whatever, it can wait. Uh, let's see. Am I in position? And do I have the jump? Yep, I have the jump. And we're going to go to, just to confirm, we're going to Zameloton or whatever. Yep, and then we'll just wait there. Okay, copy. Jumping now. The Vanguard, are we going to get ready to push into their territory? Because that massive fleet's going to probably head to them, right? Um, Actually, the I don't even see where that. Where is that fleet? Yeah. Two fleets, uh, two jumps away from you. What Hold on, Mickey. I wasn't oh, no. Hold... paying attention. I oh, understood um... what you said, but... Sorry, yeah, it's gone. I don't know where it is now. How, how big was that fleet? Close to Vanguard, 80... Remember? Close to 80k. Yeah, yeah I there's see only 7,000 in Ishnor or whatever. Yeah, where did their fleet go? Yeah. Oh, you know where it could have gone, guys. It could have gone. Could have gone the long way around. Range. It yeah. could have done that super long jump, and it's sitting on their home world or something. Yeah, and it's doing should we it's... push for their battle station? Yeah, I think gone. I think we should, Mickey. Yeah, just... I'm, I'm with you. I'm already following. Okay. Yeah, just, you guys just should follow push. the interceptor fleet because <clears throat> we can all meet up in Ishnor, and then we can just yeah, 
and now I, so, I saw the fleet moving to the left, so I think your assumption is right. So be careful right. up there. Yeah, we're clear to go, so let's jump into Shetty and clear that out real quick. Copy that. And then we'll push Jumping. south. You know what would be cool? Is if they added cloaking devices. That'd be pretty neat. <laughs> that would be super cool. Yeah. Maybe that'll be in like a stealth DLC where like they'll add espionage and stuff. Espionage, yeah, yeah. Espionage would be fun to have in this game. If it was done right. Espionage usually sucks in 4X games, but if it was Tell done you, right. I, need, I need the ability to infect another species with the plague. No, we've just been send down a, this road. Yeah, just send a and spy just, with the plague from one species to and, the next. And then, and then, and then do uh, like do Jumping. like psyops against them, where you just drop a bunch of dead dog people on their planet. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say like, which is like, like space, warfare. you're just like launching, like. If anybody Bodies asks, it's just food. It's just food. Plague. What is it? No, it's not plague. Plague. In fact, it's just food. That's all it is. Yep, yeah, better station down. We need to bombard the planet, Mickey. My my admiral died at the age of 103 during that battle. Not because of that battle, he died of old age during that battle. Yeah. yeah. He got a heart attack. Yeah. Don't blame him. No, I still don't. I still don't see their fleet. I don't yeah. either. I'm jumping to Ishnor. I think it's way up there. If you have, oh sorry, it's not. What? Yeah, sorry anymore. They surrendered. Oh. Wow, that's oh. fast. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for the planets and stuff. Yeah. Wow. All, uh, alrighty then. I guess we'll. Thanks for all the fish. Now. Head south mm, this time. Anticlimactic. Uh, yeah, I think we should what? head south. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we have enough? We do. Oh yeah. Um, we're not. We yeah, we're punch the truce ends. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can punch in those one guys year. in the face. Yeah, I'm headed to Venus or whatever. Oh, so I'm actually using their jump gate to jump to your territory, Mal, and using the black hole up there to go towards instead of moving across my empire. Oh, you're going to yeah, use yeah, their jump too. gate? That's a good idea. That's yeah. exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm jumping back into my empire and then jumping down to you. That's hilarious. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that! I can imagine coming that in handy. That's not what I meant by surrender. Yeah, we didn't Driving have this in system. mind. We didn't have this in mind. You're using our gateways. That's not right. I'm too bad for them. Gotta write the small, the fine print. They should have thought about it before picking up pacifists as a trade. Yeah. How difficult would it be to? an impossible difficulty game with pacifist trait um actually it's very easy i wouldn't it wouldn't really it wouldn't be yeah. that bad because you'd make friends with everybody exactly oh because everybody would like you more because they know that you can't attack them yeah because you're not a threat ah, but not a threat and the pacifist has a lot of bonuses it's just boring as hell to do it but it's what viable. like eco bonuses um yeah something like that I'm not sure if it's economic bonus, but they are very strong as a Genetic species in general. Successfully altered. Ship fragments dissected. I got my first habitat up in Mublar. Nice. Mm hmm. Man, I tell you what, I have been waiting for these dudes to come out of the Iron Age. Like, they're still in the Iron Age. And I've had these guys, like, under observation since, like, the beginning of the game. It's like, these are some slow, <laughs> slow tech But you, you, could, people, you can increase uh, the tech level, right? You, you can um, do certain 
Um, it depends on your it depends on your policies, and then it also depends on if you're if you're willing to spend the money. Which actually, you know what? Now that I can, it's a good thing you said that. Situation I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it's just, like not that expensive to do at this stage. But early, in the <laughs> you just land the planet. Look, okay, guys, I've given you about two thousand years. You're still working with stone. It's about time you moved on to metal. Come on, I need you to, to to pilot a few starships at some point yeah, like, in my lifetime. Like, uh, like enough already with the working with iron. Let's let's chop chop. Let's get to this. <laughs> chop chop. <laughs> okay, I'm building a third fleet. I'm afraid to build a third fleet because my economy is finely balanced. I'm like, I think I'm just going to not push that right now. Yeah, I'm wasting so many resources that I want to push that. Okay, just for... I need, good... a f I need a few more. I need a few more habitats first. Okay, just for good measure, I'm going to build a full cruiser fleet. And I'm going to regret it. I know it. So it's line combat computer, right? Range 60, yeah. What's the name? range 50? Mm, I don't remember if the line is the correct one, so I'm going to go pick it just to avoid stuff. Construction complete. Okay. I want it to be a little bit armor heavy. Speed, 243, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, fleet manager. Yeah, 50 cruisers. Wow, 40k minerals, <laughs> this is going to hurt. You're gonna, you're gonna spend 40k minerals on another construction. I've spent 40k minerals on more habitats. I'm doing that, but I'm earning money faster <laughs> than I can spend. Okay. That, oh, this boo point, hoo. No one, Cry no one likes you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just, spend all this just, money. Just, <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes you anymore. Nobody understands. Just let you know, you're officially become that guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Up that... until this stage, you were one of our favorite people. Now you're that guy. And if you're yeah, okay, but, yeah. that's fine. And we should have seen it coming. We should, who, who was the? That's... Oh my jump drives! They're so slow nowadays. <laughs> I need to upgrade them again. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need the side jump drive because yeah. these are just man. It's just so slow. <laughs> yeah. If you guys need minerals or energy, you can. <laughs> Oh. oh, there we go. He's that guy now, isn't he? <laughs> Anybody needs anything at all, I am here to help. Yeah, and Mickey, I'm if you want, I can you. send you the blueprints for our jump drives, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> you do that. You do that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to send it over in a jump drive capable ship, are you? Hand deliver it. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't leak the drive, it's not going to work in each leak, but... Oh... That's how my <laughs> oh, people you know what? things. You know what I forgot? Here I am moving all these these uh, construction ships over to start taking this territory. You know what I forgot, though? They all have to be surveyed first. So I actually gotta jump Ooh. a science ship over there, then I can do it. Can I be that guy again? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> If you need well, a there's no ship with jump drives... There, there's no doubt that you can be that guy. It's just if you're going to be. Okay. We know you can be. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to send my research ship that is on jump range to research that thing for you. Okay. <laughs> just so that I don't be that guy. Oh, man. <laughs> Had to be, didn't he? Had to be. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys know I love you, right? No. I bet. I bet. <laughs> With all your generosity, yeah, I bet. But I, I believe I... that he does. Yeah, I do. As much as as much as a that guy can be capable of love, he shows that emotion. <laughs> <laughs> right in the feelings. Oh jeez, oh, that's what you get. That's what you get. Okay. 
Oh, this sucks. I want to do this remove organic, whatever, but my scientist has got to be level five to do it. Oh, boo on that. Boo on that. Wait for oh, it. Vanguard's in the site. Need a level five scientist. <laughs> oh, mine's level eight. I, mean, oh, I was really going him. to say you can buy one from the creator in Clave, but who am I to judge? <laughs> Maybe he uh, wants to level it up wait, himself. Wait, can you? Yeah, you can. Which guy? Which dude? The, I, the merchant guy? Hold on. No, it's the creator in Cleave. Alright, hold on. I don't know... Technological Let me see. Unclick all these successful. other ones and just get other. If you have affinity with them, they're going to give you a science for, I don't know, maybe 5,000 energy or something. It's mm. the second best scientist of the game. It's the best one if you don't have Psionic Ascension. Oh, but you have to purchase... You have to build up with them first. Uh, right? Yeah, just do the t a research trade agreement. Ask them to help you on your research. Yeah, I just did. You like how he brings up this kind of stuff like towards the end, guys? Yeah, I forgot about, about, the, end of the, forgot game. about the enclaves. I think you guys know about it. <laughs> I just don't want to be that guy that... Okay, I don't want to be the backseat driver. That, that's my plan. Okay, okay. Hey guys, do you know hey, this? When, when, when you got good stuff to bring up, man, you should bring it up. <laughs> you know? Yes. Most of us are open to that feedback, I'm just saying. Okay, sorry. I'm going to do it more, just because, more often. Just because Sabout, just because Sabout gets all touchy doesn't mean you should write the rest <laughs> of this one. <laughs> <laughs> now I get dragged oh, down. Geez. Oh my god, uh, how did I not think of this? The perfect name for my homeworld. The Butlick Pit. Oh no. <laughs> don't don't name it that. The Butlick Pig, don't the do it. I'm going to Where stay very on. away from your homeworld. Hold on. That's just so wrong. On so many levels. Yeah. It's no longer and the yet... home bone. The oh, home oh. bone. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh wait, I can't rename it. Why not? Uh, I don't know how. Open the planet window oh, and double click, click on the name. And then you tell him. Yeah, Why did you tell go. him? <laughs> because I want to watch you guys suffer. <laughs> Wrong. Butt lick pick. The butt lick pit. Sorry. There we go. No longer the home bone. We've ascended past the home bone. Yeah. Once you buy Gale Speed's Admiral. It's not so yeah, hard. Yeah, here you can, can get one. Yeah, can you, you gotta recruit it though. Right. Can can you send me one, Ma? Because it's hard. <laughs> On one of my jump drive capable ships too. Yeah, please. <laughs> send him on a Titan. <laughs> send him on a Titan. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Oh uh, yeah. Come on, game. I'm not asking that much, please. Don't be that game. Don't be that game. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. My hand's starting to hurt from clicking recruit and dismiss. Recruit and dismiss. Oh, you can so do it! So many bad jokes available. So many bad jokes available. <laughs> yeah. You can he do it. He claims his hand hurts from, from clicking on commands. That's what he claims it's hurting from. We know the real reasons. Yeah. Yeah, Gale Speed! It's possible! Thank you! <laughs> uh, actually, I think... Do both my guys... Nah, one Just of my guys got Tricksters and one of my guys got Gale Speed. What's the benefits of Gale Speed? Uh, it's because it increases evasion and sublight speed. It works well with cruisers speed. because they are short-ranged weaponry. Of course, if you are set up in your cru cruisers to be short range, that's another whole problem. That's what you're going for with Corvettes as well, wasn't it? Yeah. That's why I said that cruisers are the in-game Corvettes. Construction <clears throat> complete. How long we got left on the cooldown to go to war with the Hedge? Uh, I don't know. Let me check oh, and we are on time. I think. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, uh, we can declare war. We come back. Yeah.
Okay, well then when we come back, we will declare war. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal for Mickey, Vanguard, and Sabalance, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.